Today is uh, July, uh, June 19th. This is Michael. Uh, Michael used to be my student. Was well, he has been my student for for uh, for quite a while. He had about uh, four months or how many months? Six months. That uh, he uh, was my student. He recently came back. Um, he has uh, uh, retained most of his technical um, instruction that I, I gave him. So technique-wise, uh, he's still relatively everything's still intact. Um, just going to do a video. Of, on him just so he has some reference to remind, be able to look at to see, remind him what he's supposed to be working on and just so that we know what he's working on, uh, emphasizing right now. So the main thing that we're trying to emphasize with him is to move his feet, right? He definitely needs a hat because his haircut looks a little bit strange, right? We're emphasizing move his feet, hop, 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 hop. Um, I'm just gonna throw out what, I'm, what we're working on and we're gonna go ahead and go through, his, through a part of his lesson. <laughs> um, hop, hop, hop his feet, wide stance. Um, reset very quickly, immediately. Uh, lift to the right is what we're trying to emphasize as well on the on the uh, elbow on the forehand side. We're trying to keep a knee bend, uh, not keep a knee bend, keep a uh, elbow, slight elbow bend in it. He has a lot of difficulty doing doing this. His wrist tends to be a little bit tight when he when he when he swings into his forehand side. There's not a lot of uh, the wrist doesn't doesn't lock back out. The bones can actually when you when you go forward into a shot, the bones can actually lock out like that, so you can go. You can, it can flex all the way back like that, tends to add a little bit more spin, a little bit uh, easier up with thrust. Um, his backhand side, his left elbow is the thing that we're trying to keep from moving too much, so stop. All right, go to a first V. Yes, this is what we deal with. <laughs> so what, do you have, what we're trying to get him to stop doing is trying to keep him from doing this on his backhand side, the elbow going back like that, so I'm pumping it, right? And also trying to get the left arm, is emphasizing more of that to try and get it more straight. Uh, he's supposed to take the racket back with the... With the what? Right. With the right arm, right? This, yeah. Uh, with the right arm, take it back with the right arm. Um, and then just trying to make sure he has... He, he's, he, what, what he came back with with his, with his uh, backhand was that his, his elbow was pretty up high like that. And then he wasn't getting to turning point. Um, he was accelerating too early, and the ball was going down more into the ground. Didn't have a lot of spin on the ball, natural spin on the ball. So now he's working on trying to get it down. Uh, get the turning point, yes, to the left arm? Yes. All right. Okay, so right now we're just going to run, run through a basic warm-up uh, for him. Trying to get the contact point consistent. Lift to the right. All right, hit him, get him all forehand. All forehand. All right. Okay, stop, stop, stop. All right, get it back to him. Get rid of the ball. Lift to the right. All right, just like yesterday, we were talking about working on lift to the right. I want you to go lift to the right immediately because a lot of times you don't you're you don't react immediately, right? It's like right away, right away, right away. I was telling you telling you that instruction yesterday. All right, so go to uncomfortable feeling and lift to the right. That's uncomfortable from yeah. zero to ten. Yes. All right, what number is that? Ten. That's not a 10. It doesn't look like a 10. Can you do it more? Lift to the right. All right, what is that? Like a 12? Yeah. All right, no, that's a 10 now. Okay. okay. Ball, right? Immediately go into that position again. We're just going to do this briefly. I just want to make sure that it's working correctly. Go. All right, so what he's doing, what we're working on is, is this specific part of the, of the stroke. All right. All right, tell me, tell me 10, 10, or, or, or give me a number if you, if, you know, once you immediately go back to that position. So yesterday he had a lot of problems like just getting into this position right away, right? He's a little bit delayed right now. He would go back to a ready position rather than go into this into this lift to the right position. We're just trying to get him to to um, uh, to feel that uh, that positioning because he has to have that uncomfortable feeling when he does his unit turn because he lifts the racket right in front of his face. Again, with with, with Michael, with, this is all about about timing and lift to the right. We want to get to position. Uh, right there, we want to. We want that's the position that we're actually working on. We lift to the right, trying to get that position a little bit earlier. All right, give me numbers right away. He, he forgets. He forgets the instruction. Put the elbow back a little bit more. Right there, he forgot. He forgot to do it. All right, he's forgetting to do it again. All right, right. That's what we want. We want him to immediately go into the lift to the right position. He forgot again. All right. Yes. Yes. No, he forgot again. Okay, stop. All right. So understand. So uh, uh, what I'm one of the things that I'm trying to accomplish with you is not just lift to the right. I'm trying to get you to also remember instructions 
right? The very, very ball that you're supposed to do it on. We'll sit there and go. We'll okay. sit there and go through instruction, right? We'll go through instruction, right? And you're supposed to do it on the very next ball on his feet, and you'll completely forget, right? This is one of the things that's an extremely bad habit. That you're sort of like, okay, we spent all this time with the instruction, and then it's like a ball gets hit to you, and then you don't even do it on the very first one. It doesn't show that your mind is sharply tuned to trying to do that specific thing, right? It's sort of softly tuned because the next one you'll sort of get it, and we don't want that. We want immediate like focus on that specific instruction. So we want you to do lift to the right right now as best as you can immediately after you hit the ball. You don't, he's supposed to hit it all to your forehand, okay? All right, go. Quick, 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 come on. Come on, quick, quick, quick. All right, let's sit right here and give me numbers, all right? Another thing about following instruction, all right? I tell you to give me numbers. The reason that I, I have not have him give me numbers is I need him to know that he is, it's a verbal, cue for me it's a verbal uh, sort of signal to me and to himself it forces him to think about it because he knows he's going to supposed to give a number and to pay attention to how how uncomfortable it is now right now he's forgetting to go to lift to the right right away he's, he's doing it kind of soft aggressive right away sharp all right lift to the right yes right it, we're trying to get him to, to follow instruction trying to get himself to rec recognize what his body is doing to be able to pay attention to the feedback he stopped giving numbers again all right. Now, it's a little bit of a mystery why he does this a lot. All right, we'll give him instruction. He'll sort of kind of like tune out what he's supposed to do. But Michael is very good at, at, at when he pays attention to make technical changes. All right, he, he's sort of forgetting now. Ah, right, chest forward. So he hears me talking and he knows he's supposed to do it. So I'm not necessarily giving him instruction. All right, your numbers are too low. I need to hear your numbers. You're forgetting. You forgot. Go. Don't forget. You're forgetting. You keep forgetting. Right away. Right away. Keep going. Good. All right. Stop. Okay. Good. All right. So go lift to the right. All right. Now, a lot of times what you do is you take the racket out in front like this. Keep it back here like that. All right. The fact that we're having to do this, we're doing this again, and it's actually, it's actually not as good as I that you can't do it. I know that you can do it. It's the fact that you're not remembering to do the instruction, for the specific instruction that I tell you to do. All right? All right, do it again. Go to the baseline, though. Okay? Go. But uncomfortable, dude. Uncomfortable, all right? All right, stop. Stop. Okay, freeze. Do not squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay? A lot of times, now I'm checking his grip right now is what I'm checking. And yeah, he's got the wrong grip. He has his his, in, his, his thumb knuckle right over the top bevel. It needs to be towards semi-western right here. Okay. Now, you like to do that because you're used to doing that, yeah. all right? So I'm, I'm going to be okay with you doing it part, part way because I know yesterday when you're we trying to make this change to the grip, you were hitting balls into the ground. And a lot of it is you're not coming, you're not going, you're, you were coming up too fast on the ball instead of going through the ball a little bit more. All right, so lift to the right. Right away, lift to the right. Okay, pay attention to it. All right? All right? You didn't? Stop, stop, stop. All right? So he's supposed to go to lift to the right position right away. All right? You're forgetting to do it. What is it, what, what is it in your brain that's causing you not to do it? What is, what are, what's going through your brain? What, what are the, some of the thoughts you're having? Oh, it's kind of like repeating it, and then I get tired, and then I just like forget. So you're like a squirrel with a very, very short memory? Yes. Is that, are you joking? I mean, it's a, that's a reasonable explanation, right? That you have to overcome and it's not, you know, an excuse. You have to overcome that, all right? Because repetition is a huge part of developing you as a, as a really high-level high, high level player, all right? One of the things that we need to do is make you consistent, all right? We're trying to just get the foundation, the outlines of your show. Go! So he has to, I, I, and I'm, I'm harping on this because I'm hoping that he, he he's able to do these, these self without me having to constantly just simply pay attention to it. All right, so now he's lifting to the right. So when he remembers to do this, when you remember to do this, lift to the right like the, the instruction, then I can pay attention to other stuff instead of sitting there reminding you to do this one simple, one, one specific instruction, all right? Because right now we can move into like, he goes to lift to the right. He's not lifting to the right anymore, all right? Yeah, okay, so he stop. 
For, you forgot the numbers. Yeah. Right? Do the numbers. All right? Say the numbers. Okay? You need them loud. Go. Okay? Again. Go. This is doing an abbreviated stroke to work on a specific part of his, uh, his technique. If you look at his forehand grip, his forehand grip, it's going back to what I what it originally was. He needs to get it to semi-western grip, but two, two semi, all the way to semi-western grip, he starts to d dump the ball into the net. And so I'm letting him do it halfway. I can't see if it's halfway right now. He's hitting pretty good right now. And then he stopped. All right? He was doing pretty good. Right. Double back a little more. Slower acceleration. You didn't do it? Right away. Back, back. Lift to the right. You working on the elbow, the, uh, the straightening out the elbow on the back end? Yeah. Okay, on the back end side. Good. All right. Stop. Quick drink. All right. Go get a quick drink. All right. Drink. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Viet. In the family, Viet and he, and right? He's always bringing me food, and I really appreciate the food. I really do. And uh, the problem is putting up a little. It's like a Mekong. Mekong. Is this Mekong? Oh. What is it? Buy it, it, and then I'll pay you where. All right. This is, might be homemade. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you very much, Viet. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is a... Uh, Lee's. Yeah. Lily. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Where's your phone? This is Elise. Oh, your house. Home, man. That's what's different. You got to feel the flavor more. Oh my God, really? It's so good. The meat is just now. The meat is thicker. He's a very good chef. This is really good. This is better than the restaurant one. Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh my God. All right, put it down. Oh, it's so good. Put it down. No. No, it's okay. Hey, wait, wait. Let's, what's the time on it? Yeah, we restart. You're going to hear me eat sandwiches all the time. 